Hey guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here, and I'm privileged to be here today with Rhonda Birchmore. Hi, Yay. Rhonda. Oh, hello, beautiful. Thank it's you so much to be here. for oh. coming on the show and yeah, well, having us here in your lovely hotel room. <laughs> well, I'm in Melbourne, and you know, you, you said you'll come and find me, so here we are. It's, you're beautiful. And it, oh, thank you. So are you. And it happened so quickly, which is great. We organised it straight oh, away. I know. It was you. I got the, because you're besties with Todd. <laughs> and Our uh, lovely friend. Tom McKenney, thanks for yeah, I love putting Toddy. us in contact. Yeah, because Toddy and I just worked the week before in Adelaide, so it's funny how... You were fresh in his mind, fresh that's in what his it was. Mind, that was it. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, thank you for coming on the show, as I said, because I know you're a busy woman, and really appreciate your time coming. My pleasure. <laughs> now, since this is your first time on the show, I'd love to get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. And I think we should start from the beginning, because that only makes sense too, right? <laughs> a long time ago, Lauren. But <laughs> She's been there, done that. This is why she's incredible, and she's an Australian legend. That's how I look at you. <laughs> oh, very kind. Um, you started performing at the age of two, is that correct? Is that... That is, is this always what you want to do? Um, I was too, um, but because, of, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm physically very tall, um, six foot in the old scale. Uh, but and I, wear a bit of heels today, a bit just of, to and make myself feel a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> but we're sitting down and it's I'm in the good. big chair. But um, I was too, um, I, my sister Michelle, my older sister, she used to go dancing uh, in uh, this wonderful little dance school in Rockdale in Sydney. And mum used to take me along too because we never had babysitters or anything like we just all used just to travel. Dragged us, along. Uh, dra- yeah. <laughs> and I used to watch my, my sister um, and all the five year olds do all the steps. And then I pretty much came home and uh, did all those steps and sang all the songs. And then mum one day said to um, the dance teacher, um, you know, Rhonda knows this stuff, can you pop her in the troupe? So uh, I was two, um, but looked like a five, six-year-old physically, and they dressed me as a little jockey, which is pretty funny. Um, Yeah, jockey, (laughs) a height of most jockeys now, mind you, at two, but... um, and I did this little number called the Campdown Races, Do Da Do Da Day. And, and I know. I um, believe be- remember that. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and two, um, oh, we used to do da, do da. But I, I just remember that moment. People say, is it, you know, is it in your blood? I kind of got this amazing, um, you know, feeling that first time, which I still, um, all these years later, um, it's just, um, I don't know, a lot of, my sister, for example, that day in the in the troupe, she cried and there was a lot of kids, you know, the five-year-olds, but I, the more I kind of was on stage, the more I loved it and, yeah, they couldn't get me off, which, so nothing's, nothing's really good. changed, you the, know. The love has not disappeared. The love has not disappeared. Fantastic. Does your sister feel like you're copying her? Well. <laughs> like, how dare you? This is my thing. This is my, I think she loved it that her uh, her her younger sister was going to, yeah, I think she was a bit shocked that I had so much uh, kind of, you know. Talent? <laughs> well, no, not not talent, but just, um, you know, Utspar, I guess, getting mm. out there and just doing it with okay. no fear. So Fantastic. Mm. How much older is she? She was three years. Three years, all right. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so she's looking at you going a two-year-old, I I don't think she'll want to do it. (laughs) And here all these years later, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Did you ever think of it as a career or was it just... Well, I just, you know, I was really lucky, Lauren, that um, my mum, Yvonne, um, she spent all our kind of, I guess, budget money on uh, taking Michelle to and myself to dance classes and we went to piano and we went to... We went to singing classes, so we mum loved everything about the theatre too. Without being a stage mum, she loved all that kind of Hollywoody stuff. So we had all those great opportunities, and then I guess there's a time where you have to, uh, you know, as a, a young adult, decide which path you want to go. And I knew ever since I was really young that. Um, this is what I wanted to do. It's oh, fantastic. The passion was there from day one. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty much. That's fantastic. Now, you are the queen of Aussie cabaret. That's oh. how a lot of people view, oh. especially on the internet when you go have a look. The queen, <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's, but, yeah, that's I know, fun. it's a big statement. But do you ever get nervous? Because you perform in front of a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and for many, many years, um, you know, for, I guess, 30 or something years professionally and it doesn't go away though those nerves I 
um, you know, and, and it's even harder if you just do one song in like a big gala or something like that. I have like these kind of brain things going, oh my gosh, I've, I've forgotten the words and that is the worst thing. Because you've got to make the one song perfect. You've got to make it, <laughs> uh, you know, and I... It's, it's just this thing that your brain and your nerves do play with you. But once you get through, you go, oh, phew, what was I thinking about? Um, so, yeah, I still get nervous. And I get nervous doing the national anthem. Uh, I think everybody does because if yeah. you screw that up, they're like, oh, what yeah. kind of Aussie is she? I know. <laughs> and then when they give you the, the second verse to do, that's pretty shocking. Um, and most I people usually, don't really know it. <laughs> and I usually have it written up my arm. And I remember Alan. Are you seriously? Ju- like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. a few little things. And I do very, um, very dramatic kind of gestures and look at my arm, but don't. <laughs> We're going to have to look at that now, like zoom in. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I do. Um, yeah, I st- certainly get nervous. And, and not so much when you're doing your own thing, um, but I feel like if you're doing a musical or something like that, or, um, you know, you, you don't want to leave, let your team members down, you know. No. Um, so, yeah, there's a bit more pressure when you, you kind of go, oh, gosh, she, she's forgotten the words or something. But, yeah, I, I kind of try my best to, to you know, but nerves do end up getting me quite a, quite a bit. Oh, so what do you do when you forget the words, just kind of oh, I make it up. laugh it off? <laughs> well, you just, I feel, and I, I tell um, people, young young people starting, if you, if you get the nerves, you just go on as though nothing ever happened. Nothing happened, yeah. and this is the lyrics, and they kind of, if you do it with conviction, they kind of go, oh, actually, right. That, that is was, the lyrics. That is the, and I did that, <laughs> even with the, um, the Ab Fab show, I did it with The Winner Takes It All, and the girl that had done um, the, the role in Mamma Mia was in the audience. She went, my gosh, Rhonda, they, where were those lyrics from? And I went, oh, yeah. I kind of <laughs> forgot. I was just making them up. So, um, but I think if you, that's the thing. If you kind of go and confidence. go with confidence and go, yeah. you must be wrong. These are the right ones. You know, These or, are the right or, words. Or, or, yeah. so, <laughs> and I've done that. And I think that came from... Um, a lot of um, early experience on live television. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have so much now, um, but back in the days of variety, in the tail end of variety, I know you're way too young, Lauren, but some of your I've viewers I've seen out some there. videos of yeah. you on the live television back in the day. Yeah, it's all on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I, I know, but that was the thing when it was live. Um, you know, you, you had to have something to, and and that's what taught me to to make up and just look right down the camera as though nothing's wrong. And sometimes it works. Sometimes, unless you have a huge brain fart and you go, oh, that was oh no, that yeah. Like, but yeah. Well, I think live TV is a lot better, to be honest. Well, well, and when, life is I, live. I, I do too, <laughs> and and that's why I used to love for so many years doing um, Hey Hey It's Saturday because that was absolutely live and not scripted and I was um, just watching the other night yeah, uh, 1999 was the last episode of hey, hey, oh, the, before the they brought those mm. extra like you know uh, what do you call it not revival shows the uh, the whatever they did they yeah, brought, pretty much revival shows well, right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah uh, yeah that was that was you know to be in in that show for so long and uh, around the likes of um, you know Molly and, and and Wilbur and Red. It was you know and Daryl of course and John Blackman. It was it was great training for for being a dag on telly. I guess. And, <laughs> well, at least it's a memory now. Yes. You can always think back upon it and have a laugh. Have a laugh. Yeah. Have a laugh. Now, as you mentioned before, it's been about what thirty five years you've been in the industry mm-hmm. professionally. So that you've obviously seen a lot of changes in that time. What were the major changes for you? Was it hard to keep up with everything? Um. Major changes for me, um, I, I was blessed, as I kind of touched on there, that I did have um, the introduction of, you know, even though I was doing musical theatre all around the country and the world, I had, um, you know, the platform of television, be it the Ray Martin show, Kerry Ann, Hey Hey, Don Lane, Burt Newton, you could go on there and promote your staff and people would get to know you that way and come to your shows. Mm. Now it is really, really ridiculously, um, all that variety with big bands and dancers and it's all pretty much gone. Um, so that has changed for me a lot. It's a, I, I find, I feel really sorry for young and up, up and coming artists. Uh, you know, they have maybe the voice or the X Factor or something like that, but there's no shows that 
you know, that they can go on and, and people can get to know them and, and mm. perform and then they can build an audience. It's all through, you know, social media now, I guess. But um, so that's changed for a lot. Uh, the other thing is uh, there were a lot more... Sh- I mean, there's there's big shows, but there are... They were, you know, in a, in a, when my sister, who, who was a performer who was older, obviously, she... Um, you would go from one show, musical theatre show, to a next and the next and the next. Now, um, you are lucky if you get one big show um, and go into the next one. I mean, sometimes it happens, but there is a lot of time now um, in between. And, and that's why I'm fortunate enough to to create my own projects in that. And a bit like Todd, too, you know, you do your big shows, but in between, it's very nice to... Um, Because my old brain goes, oh, I want to do this. And and if, um, you know, the the show is not there, I kind of get and write it and create new shows and so that I'm constantly working, which I I love. Yeah, so you're not out of the job. Out of a job. going, oh, how am I supposed to pay my rent? (laughs) Yeah, of course, it's really hard. I mean, you look at, um, you know, our business, it's something like the highest rate of um, unemployment in anything because you might do you know I've, I've done three four shows in london's west end and broadway but that doesn't give you a little certificate to say oh you know this is your She's full-time done all the, job yeah, yeah. you know like like if you're a, a doctor or a lawyer or something you get a piece of paper we get nothing you know you just just you're just as good as your last job and 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 a lot of luck plays um you know uh part of it too it's more like your resume is on google now <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like google me you'll see what i've done <laughs> yeah and the thing is too lauren um the timing when uh, you know shows come along you know last year we look at um the kind of theater scape in australia there was you know, the book of mormon and aladdin and um kinky boots there was nothing in any of those shows for someone at my age and my height and you know so you kind of go, well, what do I do? Um, mm. I'll create my own show. It's so. good. You've got mm. Ab now. <laughs> I've, got my ab, I've got my Ab Fab show. And you've definitely kept up with everybody. And speaking of keeping up as well, how do you keep so fit as you keep getting older? Like, I want to be just like um, you when I'm older. She is great, isn't she? <laughs> she's gorgeous. Um, I have... I uh, meant every word, too. <laughs> she's very kind. It's... Mind you, in the Ab, Ab Fab show that I'm doing with Lara, it's pretty hard because it's all in lycra, which is pretty um, forgiving. Uh, yeah, you can't hide anything. You can't hide <laughs> in gold lycra too. Um, you can see, you know, your, your belly button. It's like <laughs> ridiculous. You can't even, uh, but you can't have your chippies or your pie. Um, I don't, isn't this pathetic? I don't work out, but I don't sit idle for very long. I like in the day... Uh, I have two standard poodles that I walk. Um, I oh, have a so dog. Yeah, <laughs> of course they're, they're they're like you know people say that they look like their mum. Yeah, they do. They're very tall they're, and hairy <laughs> <laughs> and cute. Um, but um, yeah, I, I kind of yeah I don't. I'm not one of those ones that kind of sits in, in the gym every day. <laughs> no, certainly not. I'm not in the gym. I can't, if I go to the gym, I just kind of go to have a bit of an old pervert. The you know the, the good board, looking the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I just you know I, I walk or I, I no. you know I don't sit down and I'm not one of those ones also that do the ladies who lunch. You know that sit and have lunch every other day. I I kind of busy through the day and then night time comes and I kind of sit down and have a a nice bevy and a relax then. Oh, that's good. So instead of taking taxis, you're just walking everywhere. <laughs> oh, well, I, lo- I love to walk, you know. It's, um, yeah, I do. Um, but, but, yeah. So, yeah, I I guess, and too, my dad um, <clears throat> genetically was tall too. And he, you know, we, I guess I'm blessed with that, even though it was kind of, I hated it when I was little, but um, not that I was ever little, but when I was young. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's an advantage now. Yeah, there you go, everybody. Just go for walks. Go for walks, and you, you know, you, you know, get out, some yeah, fresh air. Yeah, get some fresh air, and and yeah, but yeah. I, as I said, I'm. I must get back to the gym, but I've been saying that for ten years. I haven't. Gone I don't there, think but, you need oh, it. Well, like, you, look at her. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> very nice. Very good. Very nice. You seen her in lycra? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Respect, respect. As a woman, respect. Yeah. Oh, love. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lauren. No, you're welcome. Now, back in 2010, you released a memoir called Legs 11. Mm. So how was that experience for you? Since you say you don't really like, you don't sit down for very long. Um, how did you write a book? Um, well, I, yeah, it wasn't um, because when the, the publishers got in touch with me, I thought this is 
you know, I wasn't that old, you know. Uh, and I, I thought, oh, you yeah, a memoir now? <laughs> yeah, people write <laughs> memoirs when they're, you know, about to car or very old. Um, but, but you've uh, achieved a lot. That's uh, probably what they saw. Well, they did. You know, they got in touch, and I, I got a lovely, um, well, a ghostwriter to uh, write. Um, you know, he and he captured my voice very well, um, Frank Hausen. Um, it, but yeah, it, it is a long process because you write and then you 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 do write it and then you um, kind of a few months later you go, oh, I should have put in this or you should have put, um, yeah, or I shouldn't have put that in. <laughs> oh, I, well, yeah, there was a lot of that. There was a lot of, um, and in fact, it's it's quite timely that you should bring that up because um, the publishers want to. Um, re-release it this year Ooh. with extra chapters oh, so so um, you're probably thinking oh gosh yeah. what else do I got to put in it <laughs> yeah well yeah they um yeah you you kind of it's very hard to take off was it 10 years ago you told me um mm. but and to put the last kind of 10 years in a few chapters um so yeah there's a few interesting stories but I think um there will be another complete new book Ooh. kind of yeah which is a little That's deeper and a little yeah a little more not as show busy type of thing a little okay. more personal yeah, yeah so personal. watch okay. this space yeah. i will and I, I really just want to read read the original as well oh you have oh you i have haven't read it yet i really want to oh, there you go it's really it's good. good from some good stories in there and what made you want to call it legs 11 well, I didn't call, Apparently, Legs 11 is a bingo call. It is. Um, but I was about to say, you're a big bingo player. <laughs> well, no. no. <laughs> the Legs 11 thing, um, I guess the publishers try to look for a, a hook. And, um, the you're called, known for uh, long, no, legs. long you know, And, you know, people go, you know, the, are the legs insured? No, they're not. They, I think it's even on Wikipedia that they say that, that they're insured. And... Um, I go, yeah, yeah. Put, you, you, you can't rely on it. <laughs> you can't. And they put whatever they want. But that, that's the thing. I figure um, what use is a pair of legs insured if the rest of you fall apart, you know? Yeah. What's going to come on stage just this pair of legs, you know? And the, uh, So, um, I, no. That's what, it, a lot of, what the guys are looking at. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, you know, you kind of think, well, in down the down the track, um you hope you're remembered for a bit more than just your legs. I, w- I would hope so. Yeah. Especially with her talent. Come well, on, guys. Go on, yeah. <laughs> 35 years, you know. It's, it's, it's a bit like, um, like I, I guess it's Kylie's bum, you know. They used to do all of that. And, I mean, Kylie's still here and doing her stuff. And yeah. It's one of those things. But it, I guess it's 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 fine and it's lovely but i reckon when i'm 105 and people go here comes the best set of legs in australia you know it's it's crazy it's like i don't want to be told yeah, i'll be, co- <laughs> I'll be, I'll be covered up anymore. very well yes yeah well, hopefully you'll still be doing it at that oh, age oh no no <laughs> it'll be time tell me tell me Lauren, it's time to hang up the old dap shoes <laughs> yeah probably one of those where are they now shows where <laughs> are they no yes just loving her poodles at home mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, a quick fact that I recently learned about you and was blown away, and I think everyone else will be too, is that you've actually dined with President Bill Clinton mm. and Princess Diana. Mm. That is incredible. Can you tell us about that? How um, are they as, uh, well, as people? Well, <laughs> or how were they? Sorry. How, uh, Rest in peace, Diana, Princess Diana. Yeah, I had the pleasure of um, performing and, and um, meeting her and um, social about eight times. So that wow. was pretty... She was, um, let's start with her, she was just magnificent. And it was before all the time, obviously she she, she was um, still very married to, to Charles. But still very married. Oh but God, still very that. married. And, but you know that kind of look that Di used to get? But like the yes. very, the, it was before the Di that we know that turned into this kind of swan. Mm. It was like the, she was a little bit, you know, um, shy, the shy Reserved, Di. Yeah. And... Um, I had the pleasure of, um, as yeah, she's nearly my height and the wow. most exquisite, like this colour blue eyes. Um, and uh, for me, I always felt uh, so privileged, but um, also at the other side, she had a great sense of humour and you wanted, I felt, you know, if she wasn't in that whole royal situation, that she could be you know, one of us, like a, a, a good girlfriend. Good girlfriend, yeah. Um, That's so, sad that she couldn't uh, yeah, have that. Yeah, and you just knew that she would have been such fun, but she wasn't, you know, 
Charles and the whole, you know. Better behave myself. Yeah, be- better. Yeah. And um, again with um, Bill Clinton, that was uh, shortly. Th- th- it was really intrigued. I was really intrigued. Um, you're way too young to remember the whole <laughs> Monica Lewinsky thing, but every when he kind of all, all that thing broke, um, everyone thought, my goodness, the president of the United States having this affair or or fling with this you know um this this girl um and then but we were all intrigued to to meet him when he came to australia in 2001 and i had dinner with him in adelaide yeah and he was he was charming because um absolutely the most charismatic charismatic um intelligent fun and I felt as though I was in a room just with myself and Bill. Oh. I need to find out there was probably 50,000 security round yeah. with their little, um, you know, little, you know, spy cams on in there. Um, but, yeah, I'm very privileged and, you know, to, to have met and um, had a giggle and a drink with, with both of those. Oh, that's great. Another memory to Door oh yeah, think about. yeah. It's a few. I, I I kind of pinched myself, Lauren, that um, there have been uh, so many, you know, people. Be it Donald O'Connor and um, Debbie Reynolds and all these people from, because I grew up um, uh, being introduced by my mum with all the these all that golden Hollywood musical time mm. with all those movie stars and musical theatre people, and to actually meet and work with. You know, quite a few of them. Um, very, very lucky. Like a pinch myself moment. Pinch myself. This is yes. so good. Thank yeah. you for sharing that with us. Yeah, yay. When I read that, I was like, "Ooh, that's I gotta, I gotta ask her about that. Yeah. That's incredible." Uh, yeah, ask away. Yeah. Now you are currently in absolutely fabulous. Mm-hmm. Have a show with Lara Mulcahy, which is touring all around Australia. And you Australia. pronounced that magnificently. I did my research. I you don't did. like to pronounce names wrong. <laughs> You're a good girl. So many you go on and they go Mulky or Mulky. Mul- yeah, well, it's definitely Laura. spelt differently, isn't it? Yeah, than yeah. Mulcahy. But you did good, very good. Um, Thank yeah. you. Well, tell her I got that right. <laughs> she'll be she'll be tuning in. She'll um yeah and and. Where that came from, um, Lara and I were in the original Mamma Mia. Back we, in the day. Back in the day. Now yeah, there's like I, heaps of them. <laughs> there are heaps of them all around the world and um, obviously the movies coming out this year to the second one. Um, and the musical coming to Sydney. The musical's yeah. about to come to this Sydney year. again. Um, but yeah, this we were, in, we were actually cast um, in a process where we were actually cast by Benny and Bjorn from ABBA. Oh, so wow. Big deal. <laughs> it was a big deal. Like now they just got the script and they just, you know, do a call out, but um, get a casting agent. But they were so particular who were going to play the roles. Um, they came out to Australia. So it was a big wow. deal. And um, we to sing and to meet them and... Um, and Lara and I were cast opposite each other in, in the, that and we played besties in the show and we became besties in real in life. life. And, and all these years later, we still are oh. and, and, and have rewritten, or not rewritten, we've written together um, this um, fab script of uh, two unlikely characters growing up in Australia in the 70s um, that never got to the ABBA concert 40 years ago. We're talking about the real ABBA when they came down under. Um, but we were obsessed ABBA fans and, and we tell all the ups and downs and the funny things about... Um, and, and the show sold out last year all around um, interesting places around Australia. And um, we're back for more in... 2018. I'm very excited for it. I'm definitely going to come along to one of the shows as Good. we discussed Excellent. on the phone. Excellent. We'll talk about that when we're finished here today. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You guys have been friends for like what over 16 years. 16 so how years. How is it to be in a show together? Do you have a, it's a lot of time together? Do you get sick of each other at all? Well, we, we, when you're doing a show like Mamma Mia, well, we did that for two and a half years, and that's um, eight shows a week. So you do get to see. And you need to get on pretty well with, you know, that person or you just can't wait to see the end of them. Yeah, exactly. I just want to go home. I just want to go. And But in, in the meantime, um, we've remained friends and we've only... I haven't spent as much time with Lara as I did again last year um, touring this show because um, we toured extensively regional Victoria and, um, uh, you know, Sydney and Perth and um, Queensland. So, yeah, we're... 
You, and, and there's a lot of miles on the clock, on the driving clock, that we have to mm. amuse each other, and we do. Because Lara does the do. driving, and, yeah. and I, we, I amuse her, I think. Base, well, I don't know. We amuse each other, and we have... Uh, yeah, we haven't... And bless, pinch, we didn't touch wood. We, we've never had one blue ever, so... Um, oh, great. Um, so, yeah, there's, we're, we're very different, um, not only physically, but, um, you know... But we are like, you know, we're like apples and oranges, but we're like adore each other. When you get together, yeah. 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 You make a great fruit salad. Yeah, (laughs) we do. We do. Yeah, it's a really good combination, really great chemistry. I'm guessing you talk all the time, but before this, when was the last time you saw each other? Um, Well, we see each other. Well, uh, Lara in between doing Mamma Mia, she went off to do Le Miserable, and I I would do a a zillion other projects, be at cabaret (laughs) or shows and stuff, and then we'd come and see each other. And we always remember each other's birthdays. You know, if we're in town, because I live in Melbourne now, even though I'm from Sydney, um, and um, we always catch up. You miss Sydney? Why aren't you, why aren't you living here? <laughs> oh, I love Sydney. I mean, you look out at the harbour and you look at our beautiful city I know, here. Just it's that view from just your hotel room, right? Stunning. Now. <laughs> I know, I know. But I do love Melbourne. I do love Melbourne. But I have kind of the best of both best worlds. Of both yeah, you're back and forth. That's back and great. forth. Yeah, oh, it's awesome. Now, for the ladies listening, you definitely want to go see the show because not only for the ABBA songs, but I've heard you guys have. Uh, some very good looking guys in your band oh yes, yes <laughs> some well, eye candy for them well they're just, and very young um, very a young bit. A, bit yeah. like, a bit like you and your lovely um, uh, Tom here um, <laughs> my, uh, who's, who's filming this um, they're, they're, yeah, their average age is 21 which is very well, good <laughs> I'm feeling as I'm getting older it's very nice to have young keen uh, musicians that just happen to you know that, that part of the whole thing is they had to wear Short, short, white shorts and knee-high socks and silver and no shirts. Shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, sometimes. I mean, I, depending on... I pick up the guys in different places. We've got teams everywhere. But, um, yeah, and they... Mind you, they are so young that when we, uh, you know, we, we were touring regional Victoria, they were still on their pee plates a lot oh, of them. Oh, of course. So, yeah, so, no, they are young. Yeah. But um, it's... And they were, of, of course, never around when ABBA was here, but we're introducing Lara and I them to ABBA and they're having a ball playing it. So That's good. It's a really good energy too. Yeah, because mm. I'm sure you agree with me because I love ABBA, ABBA's music because it's just it's music that doesn't age. Like, yeah. It's still getting played today. And I know. And you know they're all hits. <laughs> and, and, and absolutely. And, and there's kind of like... Um, uh, a wealth of um, ABBA songs in musical theatre at the moment, yeah. be it Mur- Muriel's Wedding or Priscilla or, you know... Oh, um, Mamma Mia. Yeah, oh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> That's the other one. <laughs> The one that has, like, all ABBA songs in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. And how are the costumes for this We've lovely got, um, show? We've got a lovely girl called Angie White, who's out of Sydney, and she's an artist kind of thing. We, we, we didn't want to... We take the flavour of ABBA, Frida and Anna, and, and I must tell all my friends out there, hello, um, <laughs> that we don't try to be, because a few people have seen um, Lara and I on, you know, uh, social media, and I'm very tall, and Lara's very short, and well, I'm kind of this tall thing, and she's this, she, she's full, and, and we kind of, she's five foot to my six foot, and, and we are Looks like... Looks nothing like Abba. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we, it's a bit like, you know, Abbott and Costello, you know, it's like, um you know, twins, but Danny Looks DeVito... Like doing and, a parody or something. <laughs> yeah, and, but the, so we have to make it clear that we're not trying to do, um, we're not doing, we're not a tribute be band. Them. Yeah. We're not trying to be Frida and Anna. We are Lara and Rhonda who just love the group and, and, and sing all their songs. And so with the costumes, we've got flavours of um, incredible lycra jumpsuits and platform boots. And even for the 2018 shows, um, we're adding new songs. We're going to add Kiss the Teacher and Rock Me and... Um, We've got Angie to do, um, because they were very known for their um, kind of, um, they're slightly kitsch, but like over the top outfits. But um, we've done like a little tribute uh, lycra outfits with cockatoos and koala bears to, for when they came down under. So, you know, it's very cute. Fantastic. Everyone go check out the tour dates online and come to one of the shows. Yeah, rondabirchmore.com. 23, 24 songs. And the other thing, Lauren, if I can say, um, as I said, it's not a tribute show, but it's about, I think, girl power. 
It's a very, <laughs> very strong message that we're getting um, because there is so much, you know, people go home and eat ABBA things, what can we do? But it's the message, I think, of friendship, Lara and I, mm. and, um, you know, there's moments in it that you probably have a little cry, um, and but most of it's hilarious. So bring the tissues, well, whether you're yeah, crying the of winner laughter takes or, it all, or chicken cheetah, <laughs> just, you know, uh, tears of joy too with, you know, friendship and, and having you know, friends for all this time. And so many um, groups of women come and have a bit of a boogie and a, yeah. The, boy, the boys come too. It's a girls' too. night out. <laughs> but yeah, girls' night. Yeah, yeah. And we have them where they dress up. It's it's fantastic. Oh, mm. I'm so excited. Everyone, Yay, go get your ticket. Get your ticket. Get your platform <laughs> boots. Get your, yeah. And, Ooh, and, I like that idea. We're going to have to do that. The other Bring thing too... <laughs> We have kept, because a, a lot of people too, um, in, which is so fabulous why your show rave it up, you know, they can put on their YouTube. And, you know, tickets these days are so expensive to a lot of theatre and mm. and shows like that. We're at, we've really kept the price down so that you can um, you can go out and have a dinner and park at the same time for, you know. Yeah, because people don't think of that. Yeah, you still no. have dinner and park. Oh, I know. Sydney parking. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's really reasonable. And, and. Um, people boohoo some of the um, the clubs, um, but my goodness, as Todd McKenney will attest, uh, these are some of the most wonderful rooms to do shows because mm. we don't often play arenas and things like that, and the theatres are booked by the other big shows, so please support your local club. And um, yeah. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Good. Okay. Girls' night out for me. Girls' night soon. out. Woohoo. <laughs> Now, Rhonda, even though you've already achieved so much in your career, what else can we expect from you in the future? You're telling me you're going to be Maleficent in oh, Sleeping Beauty. Maleficent. That's one really big project mm. coming up. Yeah, um, that's a funny playing thing. Playing the bad. Oh, the playing bad the girl. bad. <laughs> uh, I, um, I love playing the baddie. Um, I pl- last played the baddie when I played the witch in Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods. Yes. Um, and I love it's um, a lot more fun. <laughs> a lot. So I'm Bonnie Lisko um, is uh, um, presenting this, and um, yeah, very excited about uh, playing that. That's um, I think When's I, that coming? June, July, August. Ooh, okay. So I have to get you back on the show. Get then. me back on. Yeah. Get my, get my Maleficent on. Get my evil on. Uh, so yeah, that. The other thing is too, um, Lara and I. You know, and you're so young, which is just so fabulous. What you do. Um, to create, you know, this program and make it happen. Um, Thank you. <laughs> you, you, you know, because you, you think these things just don't kind of materialise by themselves. You, no. you have, and, <laughs> and I put it back to you. You had, you were telling me off air was six. You were sixteen when you started doing yes. this, <laughs> which is amazing. And look what you're doing. Um, how many million viewers? A lot. <laughs> millions and millions <laughs> all over the world. So my point is, you put. It doesn't just come your, your manager or your agent doesn't ring you one day and say oh you know, this is sometimes it does but um if you've got a passion and a project um you need to kind of hone that and try to create it and put it out there mm. so lara and i after we do the ab fab um we want to write our own little sitcom oh yay so <laughs> um yeah i mean you look at those fabulous girls um kath and kim that did the, that show way back then and such a success not that we're anywhere but near or, or, or like that but you, you know those kind of things can happen and, and, and I think just the fact that Lara and I are absolute opposites but a magical uh, friendship and chemistry I think um, and funny yeah, I think it was. So is it going to be called Rhonda and Lara, like Kath and Kim? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I think um, watch this space because, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. It's mm. good. It's a whole new project. It's mm. unique. Yeah. Fantastic. So Definitely got to keep a look out keep, for it. Keep a look out for that. And um, I go to Japan in April. So, yeah, it's um, just... Yeah, I just keep on chugging and creating new things. How she has time for anything, I don't know. For for your family, your husband, I don't know. Well, you know that's that's the thing. Um, you know, and my well, and my dogs. You know, they kind of you know you fly on a plane, but you go, oh, I'll set the alarm an hour earlier because I, I, they need a walk. Um, yeah, you know, I, people say, I guess, um, you know, when are you even thinking of retiring? I have no no intention. No intention. You know, she just what she does. Why would it. you need to retire? You you know, you some people go to work, I think, Lauren, and they go, oh, I can't wait till I get to a certain age and I can retire and just sit. I, I don't know. I think I would be bored beyond belief mm. if I was um, 
and a, yeah, dry, yeah, drive my husband up the wall. He drives me <laughs> off the wall. Because he, he's actually stopped. He only works three days a week now and those two days, which, which are great when you're home. But like, no I more, love you, honey, no but please no go more, back to work. No more. <laughs> yeah, I get enough of you. But, you know, you kind of go, that, that's what I mean. I, I still have, I, I st- I've, you look at Cher and you look at Bette Midler, you look at those mm-hmm. girls that are still doing what they want to do and... Um, as long as you can do it, I reckon there's no reason why you shouldn't. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely advice for everybody. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and speaking of advice, do you have any advice for the listeners who might want to follow their dreams of becoming a performer like you? Um, yeah, follow your dreams. I, I, I do. I mean, it was always a dream for me. And you think, um, and that's what I was just kind of, you know, trying to get to say um, mm. don't think that anything's too hard you know give it a red hot crack even you know reach for the stars and then you might you know get something back but um, don't ever you know have these obstacles and walls saying and, and people telling you no you know you can't do I mean for There's me going to be heaps of that no matter what heaps of that mm. for, for, for sure and and if you're thinking um, a career of you know musical theater or something like that don't pigeonhole yourself don't say or oh, I, I just want to sing musical theater or um, n- no that's not going to get you well that might get you one role but you need to also hone your crafts in dance and acting and or music just just suck up as much experience as you can because you if you go into an audition space you know sh- you know they, they've surely to ask you you know to do just something more than to sing so that's what I and and don't that's the other thing. Uh, musically, um, you know, don't, I, I only do this kind of music. I mean, I've, uh, I've, I think that's another reason why I'm here for all these years later. Um, I put my toe in pop. I put my toe in, you know, jazz. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, don't ever say never. So. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Listen yeah. to Rhonda. Yeah. Perfect advice there because yeah. I agree with every single thing Help you just Rhonda, said. Help me, Rhonda. The program we could have. Be my show. Ask Rhonda. Rhonda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring questions in. Bring questions in. Dear Rhonda. Yeah. Yeah, I can help you with that. <laughs> now, we are unfortunately getting to the end of the interview. This has been a lot of fun. I've learned oh. so much today. So thank you for your time. You're beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? Oh. No wonder she's been. And you should see Tom behind the camera. But oh, anyway. my God. <laughs> but uh, as a closing statement, and was probably the most important question, knowing what you know now, what would you tell your 14-year-old self? Oh my goodness! Um, what would I tell my? That's a that's a bit. Uh, it's a deep question. It's I know. a deep one. I um, gotta make you think. <laughs> my fourteen-year-old self. Um, I hated being tall at fourteen. I hated it. I I felt so embarrassed and stooped my shoulders and and you know walk like this and uh, now my height. Um, I love being tall, but um, that's what I would have told my forty. Because when I went to a long way to answer this, I'm sorry, listeners, but no, it's important. It's important. Um, just going through puberty and 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 going to ballet because I ballet was one of my things that I did, and I remember going to um, the final exams around fourteen in in town hall in Sydney, and and going into the examination room with all these other ballerinas that look like they should have they were petite magnificent and here was I was like this big ostrich <laughs> but I had I with these long long legs but I had put in as much um, work as these other girls and training and I remember the adjudicator there just laughed out loud at me and oh. he said who on earth Rhonda Birchmore would ever employ you at your height and who would ever part of her you and I remember getting so as a mean. fourteen year old. I hope he's watching this. Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> but um, uh, but getting on a train and and actually throwing my ballet slippers away and and feeling absolutely useless and and ashamed. not worth and and ashamed yeah. and what can I do about my height and it's people, I guess if they're you know short or tall or big or what, you know and that's my what I tell my fourteen year old self now. No, you believe in yourself. You do it and mm. and I will go on and do what I want to do. Oh, there's she the has bell. A visitor. I don't know who the visitor could be. Maybe it's room service. Is it? Uh, I don't know. You can go answer it. Can I? Yes. You talk go amongst yourself. It. Let's see what what's it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. 
She got chocolates. I got chocolates and I got one for my friends here. Yeah, oh, she recognised me. Housekeeping got... She's like, she's she's like, like you're like, famous. Yeah, no. You're a famous lady. You're a famous lady. She was shocked. Yeah, we, don't, don't worry. I've got one for you too, Tom. So we'll eat we that later. We won't eat it, Tom. You'll get one later. Oh, are we all... Oh, so. do, do they just come to the door? Like I think they come to... They come down to turn down your... Oh, here at the... At I'll time? give them a, a Swiss Hotel's magnificent. Shopping next door. Shout beautiful out. chocolate. Beautiful. Shout out. Yeah, even inside, I'm like... Oh. Well, that's great advice for all the 14-year-olds listening well, as yeah, well. Yeah, don't, just believe in your dreams yeah, and, don't and, and, and don't ever let people... That was my point where I was coming from. Don't let people say no to you because, um, as I said, the sky's the limit. So. Yeah, be yourself. Don't be ashamed be, if you have something it, different. Yeah, because it turns out to be a positive. Yeah, your, your height is definitely a positive that's now. That's it. Everyone yeah. knows you for the, the height being and tall legs. in your legs. That's it. That's it. Because I'm 11. tall. Legs 11. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, before we go, Rhonda, if the listeners would like to contact you or find out what you're up to, where should they go? They can go to rhondabirchmore.com. Yes. And at rhondabirchmore.com, I've got all my dates of Absolutely Fabulous and other things that they can come and see. Awesome. Everything is in one place. So, Everything so much is easier. in. I've got some incredible people doing my. Uh, because I'm not very, uh, very hip with social, but I know you are. I'm getting better, but, um, you know. You just you stick to your talent. Insta, Twitter. Get someone else to do, do it. Do all of that. Yeah, yeah. I've got very, very good people doing all of that. Well, that's fantastic. And thank you so much for coming on the show today. Oh, I really my appreciate pleasure. your time. I want to come back. We can talk you about Mal- we, We'll get our Maleficent on. Oh, I love Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> yeah, you could be Sleeping Beauty. Well, there you go. So you want me to sleep for the whole interview? <laughs> <laughs> she can interview herself, guys. Yeah, I'll just so, talk to myself. Definitely. No, oh, good. You have my contact. That's contact it. me and we'll bring you back on the show. That just, would be great. This could be like, just like Todd McKenney, like your second home. Yeah, well, he's been we, on, we what, could, four times? We could have, we could have, you could have Todd and Rhonda together. We're doing the Bravo cruise together at the end of the year. Now, has anybody actually interviewed both of you at the same time? Um, just, yes. just say no. Uh, no. <laughs> no but it's Exclusive other people. for uh, Rave It Up, guys. No, no, there was Lara there too. She was the, she was the yeah, party pooper. No, but Todd. Yeah, party get, pooper. Yeah, get Todd and myself. We'll be good. I'll probably be the massive third wheel. You guys will just be chat, 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 chat oh, away and I'll be like, We talk okay, about guys. dogs. He can talk about his greyhounds and I'll talk oh. about my poodles. Oh, can he bring his greyhounds and you bring your poodles? Oh, oh that would be so cute. Nice. we got to do that. I, lo- I love dogs. Oh, <laughs> she's greyhounds when I went over to his house. Oh. In love. Oh. In love. And his oldest one's, you know, getting on, but he's still getting around. It's great. A bit like mine. And, yeah. Oh, no, no, that's my husband. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no Hopefully he's not watching this. <laughs> no, no, we will. No, but yeah, come back on the show. Looking, I would love to. Looking forward to it. Love to. But for everyone watching... As we've mentioned before, make sure to go check out Rhonda in Absolutely Fabulous. I love saying that. Oh, yeah. (laughs) But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.